Hey guys, it is Miss Sim Reno. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for another episode of our Eco Lifestyle Let's Play. Look at this freaking house, you guys. Yes, Elise and Malachi upgraded their home just a little tiny bit from the last time we joined them in our previous episode of our Eco Lifestyle Let's Play. As you can see, they upgraded their siding a little bit. It's like a pure white now. Looks beautiful, looks clean. So fresh and so clean, right? They also got a wind turbine. Oh, oh boy, not good with the mouse there. They got a wind turbine on their roof, so that kind of adds to their green eco footprint. And oddly enough, like their windows and their, what are they called? Um, Shutters, Woo, there we go. And their shutters are actually all green now to kind of match their new green door. Elise just uh, ran inside there. Apparently she doesn't like the sunshine or the fresh air. But last time we did leave off with Elise and Malachi in our Let's Play, Elise got a few more pieces of uh, prototypes, like basically a few more pieces of um, clothing is what I'm trying to say for her recycled couture line that she is working on. She actually is going to set up those mannequins today. And Malachi joined the civil designer career and he has been basically juggling the idea of either befriending Bess or not. It's kind of still up in the air a little bit just because he really feels as though she is on the other side of this career in a sense like he hasn't really chosen a route yet because he is only at you know that first level i'm assuming he's going to be getting a promotion as of today actually but elise has become very close with the tinker family they celebrated new year's eve with them which was really really nice and they just celebrated winterfest and it's officially spring we are actually approaching love day uh on friday so that's going to be coming up honestly that's a that's like it's like a week away we've got the entire week to go but today is rebate day and this is one of elise's favorite holidays look at her jamming out what is she even dancing to i don't even know what channel's on but they actually already kind of took care of rebate day because they did do some upgrades to the home and that was something that was kind of on their to-do list as is like i have been mentioning they have been fixing up this house and making improvements and Honestly, it's just getting greener and greener, whether that's the intention or not. Malachi actually even upgraded their stove to become an eco-friendly appliance because he had some eco-upgrade parts from Elise. Also, if you guys are realizing that my game looks a little bit sharper right now, it is because I went into uh, Reshade and I actually added, I think it's Lumina Sharpen or something like that. So it's an effect that I basically turned on with the particular preset that I have so yeah the colors are all there like it's still very vibrant looking but I did sharpen things up and I absolutely love the way it looks so definitely let me got, let me know <laughs> let me know if this actually looks a little bit better to you if you enjoy the sharpness of it if it looks a little bit cleaner I would love to know but what we are going to do today even though it is the afternoon um Elise is going to kind of like wrap up her quote unquote work day. I mean, she's not really doing much. She uploaded images for her work day today. So that wasn't really too cumbersome. But what she's going to be doing tonight to prepare for tomorrow, she's going to be researching a little bit on a property that she found. She found a property over in the kind of like old quarry district. And she's thinking of purchasing it for a retail space. Because if you guys have been kind of following along, there is basically this idea that she has that she wants to open a storefront instead of just having this line and basically having it just be like an online thing you know what i mean like her clothing line think of you know the sims etsy like she could sell it through there but she wants this to be like a high-end line and she feels as though a storefront is definitely a good way to I don't know, really reinforce that brand recognition and have it be a solid thing that people could come visit. And she also thinks that it would be really cool to actually have Tina kind of partner up with her. She knows that that's a really, really big ask to have this friend that she's known for, well, honestly, maybe like less than a year or close to a year's time, but she wants her to have some stake in it because she really is feeling grateful for Tina recently. I mean, she's gone through this like huge transformation as is just with getting to know Tina and becoming a member of this community. But she really does want Tina to feel a part of it because she had a huge influence on the way this line is shaping up. So we're gonna go ahead and get the additional mannequins out because Elise got a prototype in for one of the child's lines or outfits for the line. And we're gonna basically await Malachi to come home because he's gonna be home pretty soon. He's got like an hour or so left of work. 
and then we're gonna check out that property tomorrow morning and I can't wait to see what Elise decides to do. As Elise works on a style column, look at, not the gross sink, don't look at that, ignore that. I'm bad at taking care of houses, it's okay. But look at the little kid's outfit that she got in. It is for any child sim, of course. And the main items from this are the top and the skirt from Eco Lifestyle, but these leggings are actually base game, if you guys did not know. And these shoes are from Island Living, these little like sandals. And she also kind of changed up the pose of this mannequin because I didn't realize that you could do that. So um, I did that, but, oh, what just happened? Resolution complete! Malachi got a promotion! I was like, what is happening? What's going on? This seems like a big deal. Um, so Malachi has been promoted to Architectural Apprentice, and he will now make an additional 11 simoleons per hour, which eh, we don't really care about. But he did get the electronic drafting tablet. Didn't know there was a separate item, so that's cool. And he can now draft a municipal concept, most likely, I'm assuming, on that tablet. So let's go ahead and check his inventory and see if it's in here. It is! Yay! So he can actually go ahead and make blueprints now. So that's kind of exciting. And basically, let's read about his position at this point. So armed with a state-of-the-art drafting tablet, they're really emphasizing this one, they're really driving it home, uh, Malachi will be making their first original designs. Who knows? They might even get their municipal concept into real production. Wow, okay, so he can actually start proposing things for the neighborhood, which is pretty neat. Also, let's actually back up a little bit here check out the neighborhood we don't have too many changes as of yet again it's still spring so things are still trying to blossom but we do have those beautiful sun rays because the footprint is green here like and it is still green which is really good and let's see let's check out the voting i know we just voted on one um what's actually in i don't even remember what plan is active right now check neighborhood action plans so again i'm going to emphasize this I figured some of these might actually drop off at some point. Like, can we get rid of them? I really, truly don't know. But I think we had voted for eco-friendly appliances. That's what we did. Okay, and I think that one won because he actually went ahead and did some green upgrades. But looks like Elise is upstairs still working. We're going to actually have them kind of chat, catch up on their days a little bit. Looks like they could die for some thrills. Didn't know there was actually a dumpster nearby. We're not gonna do that, but we are gonna go ahead and ask Elise about her day because Malachi is really curious to see how things are going. They do talk like quite frequently, obviously, about her work with Recycled Couture, but he has taken a very, very, very intense interest in it because he's starting to see the prototypes, which for him, he's starting to really see her ideas come to life. And that's really exciting for Malachi. And of course, Elise is always excited to actually go ahead and share them. And we're getting a phone call. I saw what you did last week. Yeah, wait, who is this? We know it's a prank call. All right, thanks. That was a celebrity, by the way. That was like almost like a superstar celebrity that just prank called us, so that's cool. And it actually looks like Malachi can present his concepts when he's done with them to other sims. So that's actually really neat. Oh my gosh, what? What are those shoes? Are those like gator? Like what the heck is that? I don't even know. All right, let's get these two some dinner because it looks like Malachi is getting a little hungry. He probably didn't have too much time at work to kind of to like take a lunch break. He's usually pretty busy. And it looks like Elise is a little bit upset over her prank call. <laughs> but she's writing a style column right now for work. Again, she kind of does this. She tries to do it daily, but mainly weekly. We'll go ahead and let Malachi get something to eat. And then what Elise is going to do, like I said, is tomorrow morning she's going to go check out that property. So she's going to talk to Malachi about it just a little bit because... You know, this is going to be an investment and it's not just her that gets to make that decision. You know what I mean? I mean, they're, they're a couple. Like, this is definitely a decision that the two of them have to make if they're going to invest in a property like that. And they have to make sure that it's a sound investment. I mean, not just for the business, but they need to make sure that the property isn't like complete garbage like are they going to be wasting their money buying this property is there a way that they could get it for like a lower price tag so they could have some bandwidth to either enhance the property or you know something like that basically the impro the property is an investment but so is the business and they kind of have to examine them as two separate things so we're gonna see kind of how that conversation goes malachi has been pretty supportive of it so far but elise is a little nervous because she knows for a fact that this property is not the best like it's near the old quarry already so there's going to be some nuances with that just because of the kind of property property it is but it's also an old warehouse and to be honest an old warehouse 
it might be pretty sturdy, like the bones might be good, but there's still going to be a lot of cosmetic work that most likely has to go into that property for, <laughs> for a storefront, so... I don't know. We'll kind of see how it goes. Malachi is not going to be able to join her to check out the property in the morning. So it's mainly going to be Elise. She might ask Tina to kind of tag along just to have another pair of eyes. But if Tina's a little bit busy with um, Olive or anything else going on, then she's probably going to have to go at it alone. It is the next morning and Elise is giving Tina a quick call. Turns out that Tina cannot join her at the property this morning. But... She is telling her about one of the neighbors that she has not yet met. So Elise has not met the Bright family. They actually live in Port Promise. So that's, you know, one of the other neighborhoods in Evergreen Harbor. And Elise is a little bit curious about her because she said that the Bright family actually owns the Squeeze the Day juice bar that they checked out the other week. And that they might have some really neat ideas on how to transform that warehouse if it needs some work. So Elise is very curious to meet them. Tina said that she was going to set up a time for all of them maybe to get together. Maybe they can either meet at the juice bar while they're there or they can like have dinner at Tina's house or something like that. They can meet up somewhere at some point and Tina wants to introduce them. So Elise is really excited. She is kind of sort of hoping that maybe they'll be investors. <laughs> uh, that's probably a little bit of a stretch and it's her probably being a little bit naive and honestly a teeny teeny weeny bit greedy about it because she doesn't want to fork over a bunch of simoleons to do this but she knows it's going to be the best move for her business. So We'll kind of see. She's also, in the back of her head, she hasn't talked to Malachi about this, but she's also considering asking Bess for some kind of investment as well. And that's a little nerve-wracking because at first she was a little uneasy about Bess. She was kind of like ridiculing Malachi about giving her money, but it was mainly because we didn't know what the investment f was for. And to be honest, in typical Elise fashion, Malachi did it. She could totally judge him for that. But if she does it, she's definitely thought it through and it couldn't go wrong. So again, a little bit full of herself. She really does think that she knows best, but we'll kind of see, kind of see how that goes. But we're going to venture over to the property with her to go ahead and check it out and see what work needs to be done and if it's the right spot for her storefront. Well, as we arrived at the old quarry, it looks as though Elise actually just got a promotion. She has been promotion promotioned. She's been promoted to fashion figure. She will now make an additional 156 simoleons per hour. That's a significant increase. She got a bonus of around 1,200 simoleons, and she got an OTP split mirror, which I'm assuming is going to be in the household inventory, not her personal inventory. She also brought along her cafe latte for her little tour of this property. Uh, so here it is. We're at the old quarry. If you guys did not know, this is a lot that is in, I believe, Port Promise, right? Yeah, I think it's in Port Promise. And here is my squeeze the day juice bar. That's over there. And then here are some of the apartment buildings just to kind of orient you guys as to where we're at <laughs> but this is the old quarry and Elise really does like it she's eh, she doesn't really like the kind of heavy duty industrial industrial aesthetic that's kind of going on here but she's gonna walk around the property a little bit she's gonna kind of check it out it looks to be pretty filthy like let's be honest there's really kind of nothing good going on here there's a lot of trash it's the building has been graffiti multiple times and the space has just basically gone abandoned. Like there really isn't much here. However, on the interior, there's so much space. And Elise is kind of thinking, wait a minute. What is, what is this? Pause. What you doing, EA? What are, what are you doing? What what is what is this roof? What do you, uh what is this? What is that? <laughs> why 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 would you why would you do that? Okay, um, I'm going to distract myself from that horrible roof because it's honestly going to cause problems. But Elise is kind of scouting it out. She's like, well, you know, I mean, there's a decent amount of space here. There really is. Like, she could see everything kind of being set up here. It's not very, it's not a very bright space. Like, there really aren't a lot of, like, windows. Oh. Yeah, she's not feeling it. Look at her. <laughs> she's like, nah, this place is place is not cool um but there's so much space and it she thinks it has a lot of potential she has really been open-minded about this so far she is upset because it's poorly decorated <laughs> she doesn't quite like the aesthetics of this place oh my gosh this literally i 
obviously couldn't give her this emotional buff. This is perfect. It fits in perfectly. Something about the wallpaper or floors just seems off. Yeah, at least they're, they're non-existent. This is concrete and drywall. But she sees a lot of potential. She really, really does. They might have to knock down a few walls. They might have to install some windows here, which is going to be a big expense. Like, she's a little nervous about it. She's not quite sure. So what she's going to try to do is... This promotion obviously is going to help a lot, but she's also going to try to get further into fabrication because she's kind of thinking, well, if I can make objects from stuff that I just find, like look at this, she's going to go ahead and actually recycle some stuff like this powerful PC. Why the heck not? Here, we're going to, can I type in there? No, I just have to use this. Okay, click, 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 click. But yeah, she's going to try to actually make some things too because <laughs> if she can make some things for this that will obviously limit the amount of money that she has to spend on upgrading like the interior and stuff if she can just sell anything she can fabricate anything she can make anything that she can and sell it that would be great so she's going to try to like make some candles she really kind of wants that to be a little bit of a as the kids call it, a side hustle. She wants that to be a little bit of a side hustle for herself. And what she's going to do then is she's going to actually vote for the community space in Conifer Station to become a, what is it, a marketplace? Yeah, not like a maker's space, but like a marketplace, I think, is one of them. And since there happens to be a convenient recycler here, she's going to recycle some stuff in her inventory to get more bits and pieces. That way, she will have even more materials to work with to maybe start making some furniture. So she is thinking she's gonna go through with purchasing this property, but she knows it's gonna be a long road. So they're gonna have to clean out all of this trash first. Like this cannot stay, <laughs> like this has to go. These tires here, she might even like recycle them. She's not quite sure, but that's definitely an idea that she has. And yeah, we're just gonna kind of see how this goes. We're gonna do a ton of recycling here and she's a little nervous for when Malachi comes home so they can talk about this purchase, but she's also really excited to talk to Tina about it since Tina couldn't be here. And she wants to officially set up a time to obviously meet with uh, the Bright family that she has yet to meet. So she's gonna kind of inquire about that a little bit. She's been here for a couple of hours kind of checking things out. We're gonna do a little bit more recycling and we shall be on our way. We're gonna go ahead and pursue purchase. And it's time to buy the retail space. So let's see if they can even afford it. Oh, they're like seven grand, almost eight grand worth of simoleons short to even buy the property. And that's like their whole entire household funds. So Elise actually can't even afford this yet. She can't really bring down the price either. The broker, like the actual broker agent was like, no, it's coming as is. We're not doing any cleaning and the property itself since it's a natural well, it kind of has that asset to it. it. It's definitely an increase in value because that is where you can get natural spring water, which is pretty wild. Elise wasn't aware of that. So as she's kind of talking to the broker, she's like, oh, okay. So she actually can't even, oops, she cannot even purchase this lot yet. So she's going to have to work pretty hard to actually build up the funds to buy this. She needs like almost 28,000 simoleons to do this. And they can't deplete their household funds. They literally don't even have that much and they still have to pay their bills. So she's going to be cranking away at doing some extra work. We'll kind of see. She's going to have to get into some crafting. But she actually did go ahead and... Oh my gosh, what's happening? Is she going to admire herself in the mirror? Oh, she totally is. She is so vapid. Oh my gosh, I'm not even surprised by this. But she did actually get onto the next level of her aspiration because she recycled five times. So now she wants to achieve the level five of the fabrication skill. She's at level four right now. She wants to fabricate five items and have five dies. So she does only have one right now. I'm not quite sure why it's not counting. But since she did get a promotion in her job as well, she's going to have to increase some of her skills. And she took PTO today, by the way, to kind of check out this property. So she does have to increase her writing, her charisma, and her painting, but only one each, which is not bad. And she has to gather impression as a daily task. Um, I'm not quite sure how one does that oh I think it's actually on like the board at home in her office yeah that's what it is but she's gonna go ahead and head home and she's gonna well in a very disappointed tone actually she's gonna give Tina a ring real quick and be like hey like I can't purchase the property yet like I'm really really bummed and Tina's like hey seriously we need to link up with the Bright family you're not gonna regret it so she's gonna meet up with the Bright family 
and she's going to kind of see what they have to offer. I think they're going to plan on meeting probably tomorrow, not this evening. It would be way too short notice, so she'll go ahead and do it tomorrow. And other than that, she's just going to have to explore some fabrication. She's going to have to actually fabricate some items and hopefully sell some things. So she's kind of feeling like she's in a very desperate position right now, too, and she's starting to resort back to... I don't know, some of her behaviors prior to moving to Evergreen Harbor, she's really feeling the greed kicking in here. And she's just like, what can I make as cheap as humanly possible and sell? So we'll kind of see. Hopefully this isn't a negative turning point for Elise and kind of like her progress towards, you know, really pursuing her dream and achieving it. But time will tell. Malachi is home from work and to move up in his career, he was told today, well, We'll kind of try to come up with a backstory, but he needs to get to level two of the logic skill. So he does need to up that skill a little bit. He was really hoping that just his pure mechanical skills would get him to um, a really high spot in his current career. But it turns out he needs some of those soft skills as well and those critical thinking skills, not just hands-on mechanical skills. So he's a little disappointed, kind of a little frustrated by it. So he's going to go ahead and try to increase his logic skill to level two. And what he might do too is he kind of came up with an idea for a municipal concept for a design of some kind. And he was kind of inspired by a lot of Elise's work. So he's going to be working on that this evening as well. And he actually is very interested in meeting the Bright family too, because it turns out um, it is a couple. So it, it is a husband and a wife and the husband actually works in his career track. So he's interested in meeting him. Tina's wondering if I want to go over her house. Yes, Tina, I do. Scratch that. We're going to Tina's house because she is a fabricator. and We need to make some stuff. Um, but yeah, Malachi is interested to meet him too because they do work in kind of the same field. And I don't think he's encountered him in any of the projects that he's been working on. But we're over to see Tina and the family. Let's go ahead and actually interview her real quick. Uh, discuss some of the neighborhood changes because they haven't been able to catch up on some of the action plans that have been put in place. And as you can see, there's some green plants and stuff. And I don't know, Tina's really happy about it, but... Elise is, yeah, she's indifferent. So this is pretty wild. I haven't gotten this notification yet in this Let's Play, but it looks like an inspector of some kind just popped on over to the Tinker residence. I'm afraid this household is not in compliance with the following neighborhood action plans. Green gardening and eco-friendly appliances. You will experience an increase in your bills until the issue is resolved. That stinks. So the Tinker's house is not in compliance with the green initiatives, which is kind of funny considering Tina and her family are like super green in my opinion. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's actually pretty wild. I thought it was going to be Elise's property at first, but I was like, um, they definitely have a garden and they are definitely in compliance. So we'll kind of see if an inspector shows up at our house at some point. Also, I just hicc hiccuped as I said, our house. So just ignore that. Oh my God, it's happening. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening! Oh no! Oh, oh my gosh! Elise finally was betrayed by the fabricator. She's probably not too happy about it, but it looks like um she got what she wanted. She has the eco parts. She was making a few of those. We're actually gonna make one more, <laughs> just so Malachi could do a few more things. And it looks like we also got a notification that Malachi got to uh, logic level two, which is great because that means that he will be. Oh. Well, I guess it doesn't count it right now, but he definitely got uh, logic level two, which means that he's going to be good to go to actually keep moving up in his career. He'll be a construction technician next. I was going to say that Elise and Malachi are now having a conversation, but it looks as though they want to go in the other room to have this conversation because there's most likely a hug or a kiss involved. Sweet babies. Why don't we go ahead and sit back down, though? <laughs> But anyway, Elise and Malachi were just discussing the fact that they cannot afford that retail space right now. They can't afford that lot. That means that they can't move forward with actually getting Elise the retail space that she wants. And Malachi does feel really bad. However, he's also extremely happy that she's not trying to push. Oh my god, they're resetting love poetry. That Elise is not trying to push them to purchase this property and honestly, like, deplete their savings. He's like, look... I am trying very hard at work. I'm climbing the ladder fairly quickly. I mean, just today even, they got roughly like $3,400 at least, or at least like 3,000 simoleons, something like that. Also, Malachi wants to do the deed with the lease. <laughs> That's gonna happen. Um, but, like, he came home with $3,000, so it means that they could probably have those funds fairly quickly. 
But that's just to purchase the property. That's not to put the money into the warehouse and everything else that they need to do. So this might be kind of a long road, which is why in the meantime, Elise kind of has to focus on her, you know, her full-time job right now where she's making very, very good money. But she's also going to strive to get another promotion so she could become the best self-helper. That'll be almost at the top of the career, which is pretty wild for her. But if she strives to do that and she focuses on selling some of the fabricated items that she's been making, then you know what? They'll have those money, those, those money. You know what? They'll have those funds in no time, is what I was trying to say. Fumbling over the words. It is a windy day in Conifer Station, and Elise is up a little bit later than usual, having her coffee out front. Looks like their maid is here today. But she is actually going to plant those soybeans that we mentioned a little bit earlier. It doesn't look like she has any plots available in her actual, like, gardening plots here. So she might have to purchase another one, but it looks like her sage is actually ready to be sold. And she is just going to sell basically all of her crops. Anything that she is able to reap, she's going to reap because she really, really is motivated to purchase this property. And she did chat with Tina a little bit this morning as well. And they are going to... Oh, there's Tina. Look at her. There she is. She's probably coming over to say hi. But um, we were going to basically go with Tina to the Bright family's home and say hello because Tina is really good friends with um, one of the Bright couples. What, what, one of the one of the individuals in the Bright family. That's what I'm trying to say. But it looks like Tina is here. So we're actually going to link up with Tina and we're going to head over to the Bright residence to say hello and introduce ourselves. We'll go ahead and invite Tina in too. We don't want her just kind of like waiting outside. Doesn't seem fair. And we're at the Bright residence. So this is Zaina Bright and her husband is Seymour. I don't actually know where Seymour is at the moment. We might have to ask to go inside. Um, but Elise is introducing herself and she's very, very excited to get to know Zaina a little bit. Looks like Tina's a little distracted. Also, if you guys are wondering, I did not build this lot. This is by Aveline. I actually downloaded this specifically for the Bright family because I absolutely loved it. So definitely check out Aveline's uh, gallery and as well as her YouTube channel if you want to check out this build. But we are going to get to know Zaina a little tiny bit. Oh, we can convince her to install something. Oh, for that's for the green initiatives. That's kind of cool. Okay, well, we are going to go ahead and compliment her style. We're going to talk to her a little bit about uh, Squeeze the Day, the juice bar that she owns with her husband, because Elise really enjoyed it, and she kind of wants to get in with uh, Zayna a little bit. Don't really know where she's headed, but she wants to get in with Zayna a little bit because she wants to see if she can be kind of like a regular in selling. Can we not knock on the door at all? Knock on door? Can we not go inside? Is this really what's happening? Like, we can't even... We can't ask to go inside? Or can we already go inside? No, we, we really, we really can't. Uh, oh, there's, uh, there's Seymour. He's inside there. I guess maybe we can go inside. I don't even know. We're going to try to go inside. Looks like Tina is making herself at home playing with some clay out here. <laughs> I mean, the whole point of us coming here really was to try to you know get to know them in the first place so we're gonna head up the ladder i was gonna say upstairs but we're gonna head up the ladder here and see if we can say hello and just kind of chat business we'll kind of see how it goes because their juice bar is like wildly successful and if they could have a maker table set up frequently elise really wants to try to sell some candles and stuff like that also i now can't see her so she's inside the house but i i can't control anything so we'll, we'll we'll let them talk i guess maybe elise just got home and she's so over the moon excited because Zena and seymour were so so receptive to what she wanted to do and honestly as a personal favor to tina because they absolutely love tina they loaned elise ten thousand simoleons that means that she is nearing like at the halfway point of her goal look at their household funds they're at thirty five thousand seven hundred twenty three they're almost able to purchase that property, no problem. And Elise is honestly just so baffled. Like, she's like, why would they do this? Like, why would they loan me this money out of nowhere? They don't even know me. And her and Tina had like a really, really strong heart to heart. And Tina was like, look, you become one of my dearest friends. They are very close friends of mine. And we want to see this community thrive. And we think that your idea is great. So Elise has been very, very humbled by this entire experience. She's actually planting her soybeans right now. She did go ahead and get another little gardening plot. And she told Malachi and she was really surprised because he was actually 
so happy about it. Like, he was thrilled. She honestly thought he was going to be upset about her getting, like, you know, kind of like a personal loan from some random stranger. But he was actually in a very good mood today. He had a very good day at work. He almost, almost has earned that promotion. And he's actually working or just finished his very first municipal concept. So we're going to go ahead. Yep, he's got it right here. Look at that. He can submit it. Ooh, at the mailbox here. Let's go ahead and do that. That's why he's in such a good mood because he can actually go ahead and do this kind of stuff now. He's submitting his first municipal concept. That was my chair creaking and he's very excited. So all in all, these two had actually like a really, really good couple of days, even though it was really disappointing at first that the property was so expensive. Elise was like, we're not gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna have to wait years to do this. Like there's no way. And they are just so thrilled that they're actually going to be able to do this sooner rather than later. Especially Elise. I mean, let's be honest. Malachi is obviously very supportive at this point, but Elise is very, very thrilled. And now he's going to go submit his very first municipal concept, which is exciting. And Tina wants to come over. You know what, Tina? Come on over. We'll have dinner. She's making a garden salad right now. Ooh, yay. And here's Tina. Hey, Tina, come on in. We'll actually have Malachi say hello. He doesn't get to socialize with Tina too much. So we're going to go ahead and invite her in. And he's super, super tired. Maybe he'll actually head to bed a little bit early and let them have their girls' night. They haven't had a girls' night in a little while now, so that would be kind of nice. And before we do that, though, we are going to go to the bathroom real quick because he looks like he's going to pee himself. We're also going to clean that counter because it's gross. I love when they have girls' nights. They just, like, watch scary movies by candlelight. It's really cute. <laughs> it's, like, super cute. But Elise is getting really tired. So basically, once this movie wraps up, Tina's gonna head home. Looks like Tina's a little flirty right now. Tina, you should probably go home to your wife, sweetie. She would love your flirtiness. <laughs> Malachi is trying to enjoy his morning before he heads off to work in just a couple of hours. He is a little nervous because he did submit his very first municipal plan and they are reviewing it at work today. So we shall see how that goes. He's also very close to getting his next promotion, which he is very, very stoked for. He thinks that if he gets to the next promotion, the next kind of level i suppose he's going to be in a much better position to have the conversations he really wants to have with folks like seymour bright who again he has yet to meet but at least elise met him as well as his wife Zena. and malachi also wants to have another conversation with bess he's really just trying to play the field as much as he can just to get a feel for these people and really kind of what they want the community to look like and if his kind of plans align with it and i did just check too like there's nothing in the mailbox for his municipal plan so he did just send it off and we're honestly just gonna have to wait and see nice and cool nice and sunny noticing some solar panels around the neighbor's yard this is good stuff elise is actually out for a jog and um she actually last night we were jogging we did talk about getting a bike which she is in the market for she is trying to save to purchase that property so she's trying to save every penny which is why she started to actually sell her crops as well um but we may be getting her a bike soon it's not something that we're gonna skimp over she definitely does want some oh look the wind turbines are out near the apartments Guys, it actually is getting pretty green. All right, so we are actually gonna work from home today. Love days tomorrow, really cool. And her work assignment today is actually to check in at the museum. So these check-ins at various places really haven't been working, which kind of bums me out. But what we're also going to focus on is leveling up her skills as well. So we do want to check out like the painting skill and the writing skill and the charisma skill to try to get her another promotion because the more simoleons the better she's getting very close they have another 2,000 simoleons that they added to their household funds because of uh, malachi's work the other day so i think once we get to probably around 50,000 simoleons that's probably when we're going to feel a lot more comfortable i think purchasing that property and then we might have some funds to play around with to really start decorating to get it up and running Elise has like this whole master plan. She has this whole kind of like sketch as to what she wants the interior to look like and the changes she wants to make, but it's going to be a slow process. They're not super wealthy. I mean, they're, they're well to do in the sense of they got this really nice house and they've been able to do all these upgrades around their home. Oh, she's starting to lose some celebrity levels, some influence. That stinks. Um, but they can't just go and dump all of their funds into a retail property. So it's going to be a process for them. But Elise is 
starting to kind of come out of that slump. She's starting to get excited about it. She knows it's going to be some hard work, but she's ready to really hit the ground running, like quite literally. However, this seems like a really great place to leave off this episode. So we have made some moves. Elise is trying to secure some property for her retail space to actually show off Recycled Couture. She's getting more and more prototypes in every single day. And Malachi is basically climbing the ladder of his new career. And we met a new family who is very much invested in what we are trying to accomplish, the Bright family. So thank you guys so much for checking out this episode of my Eco Lifestyle Let's Play. And I will catch you next time I post a video. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.